Hey guys, in this video we will be explaining about the tournament pumpkin madness. Okay, you see some uh, conditions are being written here and I will be discussing the condition of the tournament while we're on the battle. Okay, so let's start. Now we have the map area of scavengers. So first let's start with the resource collection process. So I'm first showing you that like all the other uh, normal battles in this tournament you also can get resource containers and you will be able to collect them and develop your base normally like you do any other kind of battles okay now now I was lucky that he missed out this container he did not see that there is a container here so I'm going to grab this container right now and my enemy is going to be playing very aggressive from the very start and I will be put to a big trouble from the very start now you see uh, we see two marks at the map you see there is a one mark here but I did not scout this area and there is another area which has been scouted by me you see while I'm inside the bar increases on the blue side but while the enemy units are inside the bar decreases and if the enemy is inside then the it will will see red colored bar here okay enemy is making more intensifying attacks I'm currently I'm uh, I have just added my five supply centers so I don't have much right now Now you see two other locations has been displayed here where uh, pumpkin has arrived and I am currently not in a position to go here his tactics uh, his strategy is quite good he's trying to block me at my base and I uh, will decide to just uh, retreat for now because he's in a very good condition so I should be retreating and uh, taking shelter inside my base so that I can gather my units and uh, go and make an counter attack later on okay one sniper is here as well okay more uh, locations for the pumpkins are displayed but unfortunately currently my enemy is totally uh, taking lead in the map domination and uh, that's why that's making putting me into a big pressure right now So I decide to add some bunkers in my base and pass it. Okay, and he decide not to attack. He will just uh, stay close to my base and will block my path from going there. However, you see enemy got one bad pumpkin. I did not collect anything, but this 9 infantry came just because the enemy got a black uh, bagged pumpkin. And I, uh, he got enemy units and I got my own units. So the bad effects are that you uh, might get the, your enemy units or uh, your enemy allied units or you might get any of your administrative buildings destroyed now you see I'm going to attack at his base because he's sending uh, his all his infantry and other units non-stop to his base so it's very a good opportunity for me to have it I'm going to capture this pumpkin as well as I'm going to attack as conduct an attack at his base and going to now move using my existing units at my base okay I got a good pumpkin here uh, and you see the good pumpkin is that this infantry got some special effect and it ha uh, it happens to those units that are inside the pumpkin but that's not a, a much of a big deal because just one infant assault infantry has been enhanced that's not going to give me that, that much of a help You see, this assault is definitely much more powerful than a normal assault infantry uh, because it got some special effects. Okay, meanwhile, I'm here at, this, at a combat here. I'm not going to take part in this fight. It's going to be very disastrous for me. So the enemy managed to repel my attack of nine infantries. Okay. 
snipers and dragonflies if the assault attacks on the dragonflies the grenades of the assaults won't be used and the snipers will be able to hit them meanwhile okay many more locations are exposed but i'm totally being outplayed at the first uh first half of the game he totally have control over all the areas but I'm starting, I will start to get pumpkins too. Okay, sending my units here, fortress and assaults and also cyclones I'm going to add. And bunkers are here to defend my base. Okay, now a good thing that you see another good effect that you will get a huge amount of view. Now this view is allowing me to see that he has a little infantries all around that are for collecting the pumpkins. And mostly he's sending all his units at the... Uh, entrance of my base and also some allied enemy allied units that is yellow colored you see some yellow grenadiers these are some allied units that the enemy got from collecting uh, some good pumpkins okay you just as I said more snipers and dragonflies are coming towards my base now they're going to attack the enemy base and meanwhile I will collect this pumpkin okay it's a good pumpkin it provided me some boxes I was able to collect them after the battle that w boxes did give me some really good items however uh, these boxes are of no use uh, for you while uh, during the battle okay so this player do know how to play However, I'm not also giving up. I'm also making an attack here. Uh, gold defense boost for the first time. I decide to use a gold defense boost because otherwise I won't survive much long because I need to survive long enough just for at least showing you what this tournament is all about. Uh, we are going to produce more fortress and assaults but lots of dragonflies and armadillos are here. Uh, okay, but yeah, our attack is also going on at this at his base. We're also putting a much uh, good amount of damage. You see, very good amount of damage we're putting on his base, too. We have newly produced assault infantries as well as my bunkers hitting them, and this fortress as well. So I will be saved this time. And he was also able. To, uh, he was also able to save himself because he was able to build two, uh, three sniper towers, and very fast. Probably gold construction boost. I'm not sure if what kind of boost he's using, but yeah, I'm just uh, going to use some golds for saving myself. I'm not interested in playing a full out gold boost battle right now because it's just a training stage. So it's not uh, worth wasting gold boost for half an hour. Uh, but we managed to put a very big damage, a very big blow to him. Because his sniper towers destroyed, he built three sniper towers here. And the sniper tower, this was able to reach my fortress. Meaning that he is using also gold defense boost and it's okay I'm, I don't care at least now I have the chance to show you what uh, this tournament do okay now you see uh, one bad pumpkin here and it is uh, my one assault infantry disappeared that was inside the circle and that this also happens when you are uh, many of your units are inside the circle Sometimes you get all those uh, special kind of arrow marks on those units that might enhance their power But sometimes all the units inside the circle might get destroyed, which also can be very dangerous for you Okay, a bad pumpkin and now it provided some enemy units However, this was a good pumpkin and provided me quite some uh, quite a lot of useful units Okay, he's going to take it over Okay, we got this one fortress enhanced because only just this unit was inside the 
pumpkin so yeah enhancing one fortress is definitely not going to do any big deal okay now we are taking over this area and meanwhile we scouted that there are lots of things here now the arrow disappeared meaning that the enemy already collected and we collected 20 pumpkins out of 30 and i have nine so far okay another bad pumpkin and this bad pumpkin destroyed my power plants i uh, and i'm not sure how many power plant destroyed uh, but you, you, the bad pumpkin can also destroy your administrative buildings so uh, like construction yard uh, power plant and supply centers probably i lost only one power plant and i'm need to i'm going to require uh, repair it. it okay now good pumpkin only this assault got the special power because uh, this was inside the circle so which are being good is are not actually so good just enhancing one infantry definitely not going to be uh, bring me any big advantage now he has tons of buildings his gun towers are definitely uh, very powerful I better stay here and wait out okay some yellow colored box I can open it after battle which is definitely going to give me very good price and I got very good price after this battle through these boxes so if you want a lot of rewards uh, credits boost and other stuffs then this tournament is definitely very useful for you you can get lots of stuffs from each battle if you just uh, delay the battle for lo very long and keep on getting these boxes this is going to be very useful now you see yolo color jaguars and mammoths so these are enemy allied units enemy got this but not under enemy control these are, are under allied control okay we will take care of them come on okay maneuvering the hammers we will take care of this and not letting this sniper to play with our assault infantries forever okay it's going to take uh, capture of these okay now first uh, we're showing you a good pumpkin provided us lots of units okay wanted to capture this pumpkin but i'm think i'm going to i will have to leave this because the enemy units insta entered the enemy armadillo so the bar will reduce however i got a bad pumpkin here which uh, destroyed a lot of my units inside those in that circle okay a good pumpkin and what it did uh, some assault infant uh, no this good pumpkin provided me one allied vertex but since there are no airfields this vertex will keep on attacking uh, unless uh, up it has a zero fuel so before making its fuel zero it's going to uh, keep on hitting uh, it's going to hit this one power plant okay very close just uh, one more hit no more fuel unfortunately this vertex will disappear okay lots of dragonflies here I definitely could have uh, countered them using a lot of cyclones probably instead of two vehicle factory two avia factory for cyclones would be a better choice no doubt about it but the initial drawback really pushed me so far I don't have much uh, time that is I need to counter it okay these are uh, special effected these are snipers with special effect their power has been enhanced and also his units quality you see he has his own jaguars so he doesn't have his uh, level 3 factory I hope so he got from some good pumpkin so you can get good units from your own pumpkin or okay this uh, I will have to leave this one and here my game is about to be over but it was long enough okay so another good pumpkin now it revealed a lot of view of the map you see what a large amount of view of the map has been opened and this happened due to a good pumpkin and I uh, showed you that how the views are opened 
uh, once before I showed you that okay now another good pumpkin what did I get I got some allied Zeus and torrents okay I cannot survive it definitely I'm finished because he has just two more left to collect I got a good pumpkin providing me some Zeus torrents but these are especially enhanced snipers they are going to be very tough uh, okay these allied units are here okay but we got some bad uh, some bad pumpkin here that gave two jaguars and two mammoths okay thankfully because of my allied units we will destroy them okay but yeah I cannot prevent them from destroying my base now I will also say that this if the enemy destroys your base your game is still not over you can still collect uh, pumpkins with your remaining units but uh, here you see enemy just have one more pumpkins left to collect so after he collects it the game will be over so I was hoping that he might try to delay this battle and have some fun but yeah this is the end for this video so I think I explained you what the good pumpkin and the bad pumpkin effects are